The first one is is just in general, you know, how do you sum up a four and twelve season from the quarterback's vantage point? It's disappointing, you know. Um, coming into the year, you always have high expectations and a belief that uh, you're going to, you know, be competing for a championship uh, in January into February. And when that doesn't come to, you know, to fruition, it's it's disappointing. So, you know, we're all obviously disappointed with how this year shook out. Um, and hopefully, you know, better days are ahead for us. Raheem just said a few minutes ago he thinks the team is close. He pointed to being able to run the ball better and getting a pass rush, and he said this would be a, a, a team to beat. You've talked about how close and how fine the line is. Um, what do you think is missing to get you guys over the hump? Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's a few things here and there, a few pieces here and there. And, you know, I do think we're we're closer than we are far away from – you know, being in the mix and, and, and giving ourselves a chance. Uh, but we have to, you know, sure those things up. We have to be better. We have to find ways to finish games better than we have. Do you want Raheem Morris to be the next head coach of the Falcons? I love Raheem. You know, I think he's he's done a great job for us. Uh, he's a great football coach, whether it's here or somewhere else. He's going to be a, a, a head coach in this league. There's no doubt about it. He's, he's a good football coach. And, uh, you know, I, I trust, you know, our, our front office too to, you know, go out there and find, you know, the best person for, for, for our organization. And so we'll see what happens. But uh, I've, I've loved Raheem his entire time here. How closely are you going to watch the coaching search? And are you going to have any input with Rich McKay or Arthur Blank? No, I think, you know, it's it's in their hands um, to, to make a decision to, to go through this process to find the best person for uh, you know, our, our organization when it comes to head coach and GM and, um, they know where, you know, I'm at, if they need me, I'm obviously available and, and willing to, you know, give my input, but, uh, and, and I've done that with them consistently throughout my career. And so, uh, they, they, they know how I feel, but, uh, it's, it's definitely on them. Does the preferred style or background of the next coach matter at all to you? I just want to win games. You know, I think that's that's where we're all at. Uh, style, uh, to me, you know, let's just find the, the person who's going to help us uh, get over that hump and, and find a way to, to win more football games and, you know, to be competitive late into the year. Do you plan on trying to talk Alex Mack into coming back? Uh, that's a conversation I have to have with Alex. You know, that's, that's one of those things um, – you know, we got to see where his, his head's at. He's had a tough couple of weeks, you know, with uh, concussion and then being able to come back and then COVID. Uh, certainly not, you know, the way he'd like to end a year, but he's he's had a great run here. Uh, he, he's been an awesome teammate, and, uh, you know, I'll see kind of where his head's at for, for the future, but, you know, that's a decision best, you know, fit for, for him and his family. You were sacked 41 times this season. What do you feel like is missing for this to continue to be a problem each year with you now being sacked 40 plus times in three straight seasons? Well, there's a number of reasons for it. You know, a lot of a lot of those happen in, in situations where you're late in games trying to get back in. And, uh, you know, if we can play more consistently uh, and, 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 you know, have, you know, our entire playbook at our disposal, whether it be run game, play action or or whatever, I think that that helps. Uh, and then, you know, I think we, we'd like to run the football more effectively than we have. I think, uh, you know, when, when you can do that, uh, it, it certainly helps pass protection. From August to now, how would you say your rapport with Hayden Hurst has grown? I think it's gotten a lot better. I really do. I think you know, I thought his production was was really good for us uh, the last five, six weeks. I mean, he became a bigger part of the plan. Uh, obviously, with Julio out, we, we you know had to adjust. And I think he showed that that he could take on that role. And uh, I think his, you know it, it's going to be a nice piece for us moving forward. and and uh, I think he's hungry to you know continue to get better. Got a big picture NFL question for you. A couple long playoff uh, droughts were snapped today. What were you doing back in two thousand and two the last time the Browns made the playoffs? Uh, 2002, I was, gosh, I was a junior in high school. <laughs> so I was, I was playing basketball at this point. Football season was long over right in the middle of basketball season, enjoying myself. What happened on that handoff to Brian Hill that, uh, he fumbled or that there was a fumble. Yeah, that was, I was trying to seal off the back edge and I've got to do a better job of, of getting, um, 
getting the ball in his stomach and, you know, trying to, there was a free safety pressure off the weak edge. I tried to kind of use my hip to, to keep him from blowing the play up, but I've got to do a better job of, of getting it in there. What are your immediate plans in terms of the off season and what does a successful off season look like for you just in terms of your preparation for next year? Well, I think, you know, first you want to take a little bit of time, get some rest and, you know, just kind of get back to neutral. But I think a successful off season is, is, you know, putting in the work, finding ways that you can be better, you know, attacking a handful of things to try and be a better player. And then, you know, trying to get your body ready for, for the long haul of, of the season. And uh, I feel like I've, I've got a good process for that. I've been able to stay, you know, relatively healthy, um, you know, for a long time. And uh, so, but it requires a lot of work. And so putting in that work and, and making sure I'm physically fit and, and mentally, you know, ready to go is, is, uh, is my focus. Do you think there's any chance that you're not back with the team next season? I don't think so, but you know, I, I think, you know, I think I'm here. Uh, I, I feel like I can be, you know, a, a really good football player for this team for a long time. Um, you know, but no one knows. You know, you, you never know in the, in this league what can happen. Um, but I feel, you know, I feel good about it, and, and I feel like, you know, I want to be here and want to be a part of of getting this turned around and being back in the playoffs.